Hey guys, Yvonne here. And in this video, I want to show you the safest way to do affiliate marketing on Google ads. And the reason why I say safest is because I have heard some people having trouble doing affiliate marketing on Google ads. And so in this video, I want to show you an alternative that will reduce the chances of your ads getting disapproved and your account getting banned. As you can see here in this ClickBank account over the past month, I made anywhere from 100 to $800 a day. And this is just ClickBank. So I also promote on Max Bounty and Digistore. And so in this video, I want to show you the method that allows me to do that. The best part is though that this is a completely beginner friendly method. So if you have no prior experience and you don't know how to do anything, this is the perfect video for you because I'm going to show you everything here step by step as you watch behind my shoulder. Now, before I do get into it, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos like this showing you how to make money online. That said, let's get straight into the steps. So there are several steps we have to take to promote affiliate products on Google ads. And the first one is find an offer. So I have here my sample ClickBank account, which we will be using. If you already have an offer from somewhere else, be it ClickBank or any other network, that is great. Keep that offer handy. But what I'm going to do here is show you how to pick out an offer here in ClickBank. So in your account, once you log in to clickbank.com, go ahead and click on marketplace. And you can select any offer here from the left hand side. So if you're comfortable in anything to do with games or let's say health and fitness or languages, you can go ahead and click on this little drop down and you can find your category that you're comfortable with and you can promote any offer like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to look for the most popular offers. And the way we do that is we click on this magnifying glass here right at the top and we're going to see all the top popular products right here. So we can pick anything, right? We can go through and there's a lot of different pages. There are 298 pages. So a lot of offers uh, for simplicity, for the purpose of this video, we can just go ahead and go with this very first offer here, which I also don't believe we ever did in any of my previous videos. So the offer is going to look something like this. All right. So it's, um, Looks like it's some drink you can add to your coffee that's going to help you lose weight. So this is going to be our product. Let's close out of that. And if we click promote here, we click generate hop link. This is going to be our affiliate link right here. So if somebody clicks on this link and if they buy, we are going to make a commission, an average of $112 per sale. Okay. So super awesome stuff. So that is step one. Now for step two is we have to be able to promote this somewhere because we cannot just take this link and use it on Google ads. Google will instantly disapprove our ad or worse yet, they can even shut down the account. So we definitely don't want to do that. So what we do want to do is create a website. So that's right. I'm going to show you exactly how to build out a website very quickly here. We're going to do everything together. And by the end of this video, you should have a fully fledged website ready to go and to start promoting on Google ads. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Namecheap to buy our domain and to build the WordPress website. Okay. We're going to use WordPress because it is the leader right now for website creation. And you have so much customization and so many features there that this is really the best option for the long term. So what we're going to do is open a new tab and type in go.evonmana.com slash Namecheap. And this is my affiliate link for Namecheap. And what you get with my affiliate link are all these options here. So you get 13% off on an AI domain, 21% off on this thing, whatever that is, right? So you get some special discounts. You get a free trial for WordPress hosting. So the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and buy a domain together. So you're going to scroll down here until you see 99 cent domains and you're going to go ahead and click that. Now the 99 cent domains, they are not applicable to every domain, like ones that end with .com. But if you just want to get started and try this out, this will be a good option for you. And you can always change your domain later on if you want. So in our case, let's suppose we want to create a website revolving around weight loss so that we can not only promote this in the long term, we can also promote any of these products too: the Okinawa flat belly, biofit, you know, these are all weight loss supplements. So we can find a name, we can come up with something here that revolves around health. So health, let's say health and weight loss.com. So let's suppose if we take this, I do, by the way, suggest the .com domain because it's going to propagate faster and it just looks a little bit more professional. But again, this is for the long term. So if you just want to get started and you just want to see how things go, you can use any of the 99 cent domains, for example, this one. And this is 125 Canadian, so it's 99 cents in US. But I'm going to go ahead and select the .com domain for the purpose of this example so that we're able to create a website faster. So if this one is taken. We can type in health and weight loss diet.com. 
Okay, so this one's available. So what we're gonna do is buy this domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to cart. And then I'm gonna view item and I might have to log in, but I'm gonna click check out here and I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm order once again. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my account. So if you don't have an account yet, just fill in these steps right here and you should be able to create an account and continue. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go and log in and I will see you on the next page. Okay, so this is that next page here. You might have to scroll down and add your payment details, your address, things like that. But once you set all that up, you're gonna go ahead and click pay now. And we're gonna give it a bit here to process. And there you go. So this domain is now ours and we are good to manage it. On Namecheap, this also comes with a free who is guard protection, which is basically domain privacy. So you don't get any spam phone calls or emails or texts constantly asking you to sign up for some website logo services or things like that. So what we can do from here is go ahead and click on manage and we should have access to our domain right here. And this is the one we'll be using to create our website. You also don't have to buy any other service like this here, premium DNS protection. That is not necessary, at least while you're just starting out. So what we're gonna do from here now is we're gonna click on WordPress and we're gonna click on managed WordPress hosting. And this is the easiest way to build out your site to get started and just to see what's out there. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and you get 30 days of free trial, right? And after that, it's still very, very cheap. So you're gonna scroll down here and you wanna go with this option here where it's $10 a month Canadian after the 30 days free because it comes with the free SSL certificate and we need that to make our website secure because we don't want our website to be unsecure. Google might disapprove the ads. So we're gonna simply click on try for free we will confirm our payment method once again. If you have available funds in your Namecheap account, you can also click the drop down and just select the Namecheap funds instead of your Visa card. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm payment. And this charge of $0.00, .00 is now gonna go through and we will be charged on November 11th as you saw. And I'm gonna show you how to change that as well, just in case. So this is where we're gonna enter the name of our website. So we can name it anything. So our website name was something like health and diet or it was health and weight loss diet, but we can just keep it at health and diet. And we can click on continue. You don't have to select anything else. Now here we can choose the domain. So you don't have to have a domain, so you could have selected this free option, but this doesn't look too good for Google. So it is better that we bought our domain right here. If you also own a domain somewhere else, you can select this option and you can just follow the steps after we set this up to connect your domain where you bought elsewhere with easy WordPress, but we did buy our domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this option here and you can select your domain from the dropdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the domain that we bought. And this is the one here that we'll be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And these are optional as well. So if you wanna learn how to use WordPress in an hour, you can select this option here. Uh, if you want to do e-commerce, you can choose this option. For the purpose of this video, we can just select these two and we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And we're just gonna confirm everything here, looks good. We're gonna click continue again. And so now it says here that it is creating the website. This is the website, this is the one I had before, so just ignore this one. Uh, we're gonna give it maybe a few seconds and then we should be able to click manage and go into the settings of the site and make the changes, all right? So I'm gonna pause the video here for just a few seconds and I will see you soon. And there you go, it took less than a minute and now we should be able to manage the settings for the site. So let's first start by adding the security certificate. So we can go ahead and click manage here. And let me quickly go over some of the options here. So like I said, the first thing we wanna do is add the certificate. So you can click manage here, click add, and we're gonna select this free positive SSL. So you guys basically got a completely free security certificate with the 30 day trial. So we're gonna go ahead and click change. And it says here that it might take a few hours. That is totally fine. We can still be able to access the site. So let's go back here. We can scroll down and these are your subscription settings. So if you wanna change your settings, you can click on manage and you can select if you want the trial to auto renew or not. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of that and we're gonna scroll back up and if you click on WP Admin, this is where we're actually gonna be able to edit the site and to add posts. It might not be available yet, so let's give it a shot. Okay, and looks like it is available right away, which is really awesome. Sometimes it might take a few minutes. If you didn't buy a .com domain, it might take even longer than that. But regardless, either way, it should eventually be accessible. And this is gonna be the dashboard for your website. So if you guys are used to me making unbalanced landing pages, this is a bit different, but you get so many more options here, so much more customization, and this is 
is as professional as it gets here with WordPress. So we're going to be writing our blog posts right here. I will show you everything. You can add pages like a contact us page and about me page over here. Now, the first thing we want to do though, is change our theme. So if you click on appearance and go to themes right over here, this is going to be the first thing you want to do to make your site looks nice. Because as of right now, if you hover over this option and you right click this open in a new tab, this is what your site looks like right now. So it's kind of ugly. So we're going to leave it here for now. We'll just keep on refreshing this page later on as we make changes and we're going to go back to themes. And so what you want to do here is click on add new and here you will see a bunch of different the options. So there are really so many. So under popular, there are 4,200 different themes. If you go to latest, you're going to see 9,000 different themes. So a bunch of options here. So you can go ahead and select any theme you want. Really take the time, go through all these themes. There are so many options and they look amazing, especially considering that they're free for simplicity. Let's just go ahead and stick with this theme right over here. So what you'll do once you do select your theme is go ahead and click on install. And you can also preview the theme, by the way. So if you click on details and preview, you can see what that looks like, but we'll go back. And now that we've installed it, you can click on activate. And now this theme will be activated for your entire website. And so if we go back to our website and we hit refresh, boom, right now, our site all of a sudden looks so much better and we will be filling all these things in. By the way, you might have noticed that the website isn't secure yet, and that's okay because it will get secure. So, uh, as easy WordPress said, they do need some time and it will automatically be secured. You don't have to do anything. Okay. So don't worry that it's not secure now because it will be in the time being, we can make the changes here. So before we start writing our posts and actually promoting our affiliate products here, let's tidy this up a little bit more. Maybe let's remove this option here. Maybe we can change the menu a little bit, you know, things like that, maybe change the image. So what we can do is come back here and you can either click on customize over here or click on customize right over here. And now you'll be able to customize the theme layout a little bit. So under site identity, here is the first option. You can change what you want these two things to be. So we can, for example, delete that. And now it just says health and diet, which is the name of our website. We can go back. You can also change this header image right here. So if you click here, you can click add new image and we can look for an image, something to do with health. There are a variety of free image websites like pexels.com or pixabay.com. I'll add a video link in the description of different free websites you can use to get pictures. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I already selected one. So what I'm going to do is click select files and I'm just going to select this image here of a lady working out and we're, we need to give it a second to load and then we can go ahead and click select and crop. And then here we can crop the image as we need to. So maybe we want to show only this part, or maybe we want to show only this part or this part, right? So you can play around with it. If your image is bigger than what the space normally al allows for, you can also make it smaller like this if you want to, but I'd probably suggest leaving it as it was, which is something like that. And maybe that looks good. And we'll say crop image. And now that should take place right over there. Boom, right? So all already looks so much better. Now, one more thing we could do before we actually start writing our post is let's go back here. Let's change this menu, or at least I'll show you how. So if you click on menus here, you can click on create new menu and you can give it a name, like let's say uh, default menu or main menu, and you can choose where you want this menu to be. So do you want it to be the primary menu, which is here? Do you want it to be in the footer at the bottom of the page or social menu? Social menu might appear somewhere on the side. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And this is where you can add items to your menu. So we can click add items right now. We don't have much to add because we don't have anything, but let's suppose you create a different page. You create a contact us page and about me page. You would go ahead and click home and you can also add a page. So for example, like I said, contact us, we can click add. And now this page will be added under the pages tab, which I'll show you after we're done here. You can also type in about me. You can click add and now boom, right, right there. You might not see it. It's grayed out, but I'll show you here in a second. You can also go by category. So once we actually start writing our different blog posts about health and diet, you'll be able to add these category menu options. For example, uh, diet recipes, nutrition, workouts, you know, things like that. You'll be able to do here as well. I'll show you how to add categories as well. You can also go by tags, etc. 
Yeah, with WordPress, there are so many options. We really don't have enough time to go through every single one in this video. Otherwise, it could be 10 hours long. But definitely, I do encourage you to explore and to go through all these options because there's so much cool stuff you can find here. So for the time being, let's say this is good for us to get started. Let's go ahead and click publish. And now everything is published here. As you can see, all the pages, if we click home, this is like your main home blog page, right? So you're going to see all your different blogs here. We go to contact us. We don't have anything here yet, but I'll show you how to edit it if you do want to change it about me and so on. So let's go back out of this. Okay. So I think we're ready to start adding our posts and actually start promoting, right? Because everything we're doing here is for Google ads. So first of all, let me quickly show you, if you go to all pages here, we've created these page templates right here. So all you're going to do is click edit and then you would write the information here about me. You can close out of this. This is the Brizzy editor that we selected and you can just start writing. I'll go into more detail how to write and whatnot. Uh, but this is basically where you fill in information uh, on the about me. So let's go back. We'll leave. We don't have anything to save and the same for contact us. And you can also add a new page. So if you want to add something new, you can go ahead and click add new, but we're going to leave that. And we're going to go to posts because this is where we'll be adding all our different blog posts, right? The more, the merrier. And this is where we'll actually be promoting the stuff. So let's go here. Let's go to posts and we can write here. Now this one, hello world, we can probably delete it and we can just start a new post. So right now what we're doing, right? The goal, what we're trying to do is we're going to create some sort of article and ideally we're going to promote this affiliate product, which is the one that we selected Java burn. We're going to add the, this as part of our affiliate links in the article. And then we're going to promote that whole page, that blog post on Google ads. All right. So that's the idea. That's what we're going to do. So this is, it looks like some sort of, let's scroll down and see what this is. Uh, that combined with coffee can increase both the speed and efficiency of metabolism. Okay. So this is a formula that's going to increase your metabolism, reduce your fat that you can add with coffee. So. Keep that in mind because we have to come up with ideas, right? For these different articles or blog posts. So let's go back to posts and we can click on add new. And so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can create an article about how coffee can increase your metabolism. And then in this article, we could also say, Hey, if you want to learn more and if you want to increase your metabolism even more, check out this offer. Okay. So that's the angle we're going to come from and you can come up with your own angles. There's no one correct answer. Our website is about health and diet, by the way, let's refresh this real quick. Boom, right? looks so much nicer. So we don't have to only promote this coffee offer. We can promote all of these, like I said, so that could be our one article about coffee. Another article could be, Hey, uh, what's the fastest way to lose weight? Here are five tips to lose weight. And then boom, we can suggest this off, right? So lots of stuff you can do, and it's all going to be a part of your website, your one hub. So we're going to come back here. Let's give it a title. Let's say how coffee can boost your metabolism. Okay. So let's imagine we're going to do something like this. So now what we have to do is do the research for it. So what I'm actually going to do is just copy this title because that's what we're trying to research. I'll open a new tab and in Google, we can paste it here and click enter. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go through some of the articles. We're going to do the research and then we're going to write all this in our own words. So how coffee can boost your metabolism, for example. So what you would do is you would go ahead and read this stuff here and we can create an article out of it. So what I'm going to do is speed up the video a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of research right here in front of your eyes and I'm going to create a short little blog post just to show you the idea of what we're going to do and how we're going to use it to actually promote our product. All right. So I will see you soon. Okay. So I went ahead and took some notes and I created these few paragraphs here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, what I have here, and we're going to come back to our page and I'm going to paste it here. Now these blocks, this is that breezy or breezy editor that we've installed, right? So if you click enter here, for example, you can select this little plus sign and you can add any of these blocks. So you can add a paragraph, an image, a heading, a gallery list. If you click browse all, you have all these options here. So it is kind of like any of these landing page builders where you have kind of this drag and drop. There are just a ton more options here, but that's fine because that also gives you more flexibility to do really whatever you want. So we're going to scroll back up. 
we're gonna just leave it as it is. And this is just a short sample article. So obviously you wanna write as much as you can. Try to aim for at least 500 words and you can also go through different sites. You can go through YouTube videos, right? Just do the research and try to provide this content in a way that's different to what's already explained out there. So let's suppose you write your whole article, you write your 500 posts, you're good to go. What do you do then? So this is where we actually start to do our affiliate marketing, right? This is where we start to promote and pitch our offer. So near the end here, we could say something like, if you want to increase your metabolism even further, you can try Java Burn. And then here, this is where we would place our affiliate link which is a supplement. What is it exactly? Let's see. We can say product, which is a product that you can add. And let's say, cause it is apparently, it looks, it looks delicious. So we'll say delicious, which is a delicious product that you can add to your coffee to sky rocket your results. If you want to check it out, you can do so by visiting their main website here. And then if you, maybe you can type PS and you can say, let's see, because they have some special offer, right? So you can go through and see if you can find some special offer. So first of all, they have a money back guarantee, which is awesome. But then over here, look at all these savings, right? So you can say something like PS, you can save, you know, $500 if you buy a three month supply or something like that. So you can say PS, you can save almost $500 if you buy a three month supply. Okay, so there you go, right? Again, assuming your article is a little bit bigger, by the way, we can also add an image. So if we type next here, in this block, we can click here and we can add image, just make it a little bit nicer. And I'm gonna go ahead and look for like a coffee image from one of the free websites that I told you about, and then I'm gonna upload it right here. Okay, so I went ahead and downloaded a free coffee image, and then I'm just gonna drag it right here, and boom, there you go and give it a second to load. Maybe we can reduce it in size a little bit like that. And then you have all these different options here. You can click on the little three dots and let's suppose we wanna align it center. We can do that, right? And we can add a little caption if you want as well, but that's optional. And so there you go. Now we have to actually link our affiliate link here, right? So let's come back here. We're gonna click promote again in case you forgot. Generate hop link. We're gonna click this to copy it. Come back into our post. And we can select this, so you can try Java Burn. We can select that right here, click on link, and paste our URL right there. And we'll click submit. Now we can also do it here. So if you want to check it out, you can do so by visiting their, we can say main website here. We can do it here as well. Go here, click paste, click enter. Now one thing we could also do is we can open this in a new tab, right? So people don't lose sight of the website. So open a new tab, and then we can bold this. You can save almost $500 if you buy a three month supply. And that's gonna be the idea, right? So you're gonna go ahead and write your post. You can write as many as you want. Just take 10 to 15 minutes a day, guys, and just write something new. If you have experience in whatever it is you're promoting, all the better, because then you don't even have to do research. And you also have this tool here, Yoast SEO. So now not only are we gonna run traffic to the site, but Google is also going to naturally find us and gonna send you some free traffic. And so that's why I like this Yoast SEO. So what you can do here is write a focus key phrase. So our focus key phrase could be, for example, coffee metabolism, for example. And then it's gonna tell us how well we're doing in SEO. It's gonna be red, orange, or green. Green is the best, orange means we're on the way there, and red means it's bad. And then if you scroll down here, you go to SEO analysis, you can write, you can go through all these things here. So it's gonna tell you what the problems are and what some of the improvements are. So for example, there are no internal links on the page, and that's fine because we don't really have any articles yet. The key phrase do not appear in the first paragraph. That's fine too. No, no meta description, which we'll add in a second. The text contains 207 words. Uh, the minimum is 300. Again, this is just a rule of thumb and I'm just doing this as an example just to show you what you would be doing. But like I said, uh, 500 words is actually ideal for SEO purposes. So for meta description, this is what shows up in Google natural organic search results, right? So what we can do is scroll up and we can maybe copy this part here. Oh, we can't copy it. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so it got put in different blocks, which is fine. And we can say here like that. But there's more to coffee than just energy. Okay, boom. Okay, so it leaves a little bit of a mystery, makes people want to click. And now we just have to change a few more things here. Oh, one more thing we want to do is we do want to add the key phrase in the meta description, right? So coffee and metabolism. These are our, let's suppose our keywords. 
So we can see coffee, but there is more to coffee than, than just energy. And that is increased metabolism. And we can re reduce something, it's incredible, ever to help you gain energy. But there's more to coffee than just energy and that is increased metabolism, okay? So something like this, again, play around with it, guys. I'm just showing you the how, right? So once you're done with your post, you're gonna go ahead and click publish and your post is now live. So if we go back to our website, we hit refresh and now if we scroll down, let me close that, you'll see your post right over here, okay? So right there, if we click on it, boom. Here's the article right there and then we have these links and then this seems a bit, uh, this seems a bit off and that is probably because we only said this part like that, right? So we want the whole thing to be open a new tab, not just the one word. So we're gonna do that again, click update. And now this weird stuff should be gone. Let's try it again, refresh, boom, okay? And so this is gonna be our post, right? And we can send people to this page right here, telling people how coffee can boost their metabolism. And if they scroll down, they're gonna read the article, they're gonna love the article, then they're gonna click here open a new tab and boom, they're gonna be taken to this page where they can buy the offer. And if they buy the offer, guess what? You're gonna be making a commission. And this is how we're gonna be promoting on Google Ads. Now, the final thing we have to do is actually create our ad, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go to ads.google.com. If you don't have an account yet, just go ahead and click start now. You can also give them a call and they can help you with the whole process. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and sign in and I will see you inside the Google Ads dashboard. And so once we're inside the Google Ads dashboard, what we're gonna do is go to campaigns here on the left-hand side and click on the little plus sign. And we're gonna go in and just create a new campaign. So click on new campaign over here. We're gonna click on website traffic. We're gonna click on search and we're gonna enter our website. Now our website might not be secure yet, but that's okay for the purpose of this video. We're just gonna go ahead and use that. But what you would wanna do is just wait, give it maybe a few more hours or however long it's gonna take for the website to be secure before you add it. So that should give you plenty of time to just add some more posts and maybe make this a bit longer. So we're gonna come back here. We're gonna enter our URL right there. We're gonna give it a name, which for this one, let's say it's Java Burn and we're gonna click continue. And so everything we have to do here is on the left-hand side. So we're gonna go from top to bottom. So the average daily budget, it goes as little as $1 a day, all the way to 6 million or something like that. So I do suggest starting with at least $10 a day. Anything less than that, it's just gonna take way too long to start getting data. Then what you wanna do is select this, even though it says not recommended, but that's not recommended for Google, not for you. Click on manual CPC and deselect this option. And this is gonna give you the most amount of control over your clicks and your keywords and your bids, all right? Under more settings, you don't have to worry about all of these. These are fine and we're gonna click next. By the way, if you want more detail about every single one of these options, what every single one of these mean, including these options here at the top, I do cover it in my very detailed Google Ads training course at evonmatacom slash all dash courses. So check that out if you want more detail. For the purpose of this video, I'm just sticking to the necessary basics that we need to get our campaign up and running, all right? So the next part here, it's asking for networks. I do not suggest this option here. That's gonna show your ads on other websites, not necessarily Google. So it's gonna be kind of like native advertising. So you can spend money really quickly like this. Uh, if you check mark this, then Google will show their ads on other partner websites like askjeeves.com, for example, which is also a search network, but it's not Google. So if you wanna show your ads strictly on Google, you just deselect this option. And now we're only gonna show it on Google. For the purpose of this video, I don't really care. So we'll just keep that on. Uh, next, you have location. So normally what I do when I'm first testing out offers is I enter all the tier one locations. So that's America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and United Kingdom. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll just say Canada and click enter and United States. And we're gonna scroll down. For the languages, we're gonna leave it at English. This does not translate your ads. This shows your ads to people of this specific interface. So if it says English here, that means our ads are gonna be shown to people with an English interface, i.e. people that speak English. Under more settings here, you can adjust the start and end date, the ad schedule, things like that. Everything else is pretty standard. We're gonna go ahead and click next. And now this is where we're gonna add our keywords. So the first thing here it's asking is how much is each click worth to? So how much are you willing to pay per click? So I normally like to start pretty low. So let's say 10 or 15 cents per click. And I just like to see how it goes. If I'm not getting enough impressions or enough clicks, then I go in and raise that. 
but I don't want to start with a high bid because then I might exhaust my whole budget in like one hour. So I definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to keep it at 15 cents here. What you can do here is enter your website and Google automatically pulls suggestions based on my site. What you could also do is you could enter keyword ideas here, for example, metabolism. And if you click update keywords, Google is going to give you suggestions revolving around metabolism. What you could also do is if you go to tools and settings and you go to keyword planner, if you want to do much more thorough keyword research, that's where you would go. I have a video. I link it in the description showing you exactly how to use this to find profitable keywords. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to stick with these keywords right here, which are just the recommendations and which makes sense to us. So that means people are going to be searching for how to boost metabolism, how to increase metabolism, and they will be seeing our ads and our website right here, telling them how coffee can boost your metabolism. And then as they get into the article, they're going to read it and they will have the option to buy this product right here. All right. So, we're done with that. Last thing we have to do here is create our ad. So this is a responsive search ad, which means that Google is going to alternate all the different headlines and all the different descriptions here that you add. So normally what I like to do for my first headline is I like to add what the product is about, what our page is about. For the second headline, I like to add like a call to action. So over here, we'll be promoting this page right here, right? How coffee can boost metabolism. So in the title, we can just write that. We can say, learn how to boost metabolism and perfect that fits we can go ahead and click new headline and we can say something else did you know this about coffee there's no room for a question mark so we can just leave it like that and then for a new headline maybe we can include a call to action so read this to learn more we can say learn more now and usually you will see the preview of your ads right here they might not be showing because of my ad block so what i'm going to do is just disable ad block right here and then we're going to refresh the page and try again all right so i turned off my ad block and now the ad preview here shows up on mobile and for desktop right here now what i want to do is i want to make sure things like learn how to boost metabolism i want to make sure that this is in the first headline so what i'm going to do is click on this little pin here and select stay in position one then did you know this about coffee I'm going to select it, make it position one as well. So now these two are going to be alternated and Google's going to test them one against the other. Now for this option here, read this to learn more. I'm going to select it and I want to make sure that's in position two and learn more. Now I want to make sure that's in position two as well. And now these two will be alternated. So that way we have very specific calls to action in headline two and we have what the ad and our website is about in headline one. So we can go ahead and scroll down and now we can add descriptions. So for example, let's go back to our page. So what is our website about? We can provide some more information here. So we could say learn how coffee can help you boost your metabolism and burn fat. Now for the second option here, we can say something like, did you know that coffee can help you lose weight? Read more to learn how, something like that. You still have some characters, so you can use up to 90, but this is okay for now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin these, same as for the headlines, to position one, and then this one I wanna make sure is in position two. Keep in mind, guys, this is optional. You don't have to pin it. That's just something I'm doing because I wanna ensure that some of my headlines or descriptions stay in that position. So if you don't care which headline is in which position, you don't have to pin it. Likewise with the descriptions. But that is good for this. We can go ahead and click next. And these are extensions. Again, I cover them in much more detail in my training course, but we don't need them. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. And this is where we're going to now review our campaign. So we're going to review our budget, our bidding, networks, Canada, locations, language, etc. And you can go through these. Now this warning here that says campaign settings, don't worry about this. Like I said, you can start with a lower bid, but as your campaign runs and you notice that you're getting not enough impressions or not enough clicks, then you can go in and increase the bid, but you don't have to do that right now. This one, however, you do have to change. So let's come back here and fix the issue here. And it looks like we didn't do headline position three. So we do need at least one more. So we can say something like what I said, 100% all natural solution and we can pin this to position three because for responsive search ads you do need all three positions marked or not pinned so that should be good let's click next now again we're going to skip this so we're going to scroll down click on publish campaign that's fine we'll click publish and now our ad should go under review but now we have a website 
So we're gonna have a bunch of different options here. And if you can get people into any one of your posts, like for example, this one, if people like your content, they can save your website, they can go check out other posts. So you will have tons of opportunities to make money online. So just some ideas, what you guys could also do is you could add review posts. You can say Java burn review, and you can actually write a review post about it. You could make other product reviews, Okinawa Flatbelly Tonic review, Biofit review. And you can not only add more posts about different products or just new posts in general, but you can also add more to your existing posts. So you can keep on writing more and more for this one, for example, until, like I said, it is at least 500 words. If you can make it 1500 words plus, that's even better for SEO purposes so that Google starts picking you up and starts sending you free traffic. And that is the idea, guys. Congratulations. You have successfully created your Google Ads campaign and you have created a website. So you shouldn't have any issues at all getting approved. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely take a look at my training courses at ivanmanon.com slash all dash courses where I teach you how to make money online and help you master all these various ad networks such as Google Ads, Microsoft Ads, and Facebook Ads. I also give you a free affiliate marketing guide at ivanmanon.com where I teach you how to get started with affiliate marketing and how to start making money potentially today. That is all for this video. I hope you found value. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.